All right, what's going on? We have a cool bowling video for you today. We are going to be doing a deep dive into something Kyle is going to be working on. Now, Kyle, why are you on your phone? <laughs> Listen, there's a reason that we're going to be working on what we're doing today, and that is because I'm looking at my lane talk stats. We're on the app, and I was going through my stats for the entire last PBA Tour season, and I noticed that by going through my blocks, I could see, man, I was struggling late in, the, late in the blocks. The last couple games, instead of shooting those 250s, you just cap off a block, it was 170. Yep. So that tells me that when I get left and trying to create more angle and hook and just playing further left on the lane, I just wasn't doing it to my ability, to how I know. So that's why we're going to be working on it. But guys, I was able to find that out by using the Lane Talk app. And if you guys haven't downloaded the Lane Talk app, you really need to. And this is a tool that we're using after every PBA tournament, going back and looking at our stats. What pins did we leave? What was our, what was our pocket percentage? What was our carry percentage? Like, what's going on in the game? Because, you know, it gets fuzzy. Yeah. You pull eight games, it gets fuzzy. But Lane Talk <laughs> helps us go back and say, oh, you missed two single pins? No, you missed four. We should probably work on that 10 pin. So guys, we're using this tool all the time. And right now we're gonna collaborate with Lane Talk to run a contest. Lane Talk is gonna give you guys a one month free pro membership. So you can utilize the entire app. Now, all you have to do to enter this contest that we're gonna run is download the app, sign up for the pro free pro membership, and then bowl a game. Now, when you bowl this game, if you're in a Lane Talk Center, you can just pull that game up. If you're not in a Lane Talk Center, you can manually add the games now. It's a new feature they just added. Now, once you have that game, all you have to do is tag Brad and Kyle on that game, and you're in the contest. Yep, and you have to create the tag. So you have to go into the tag category, click it, and then type in under create a tag, Brad and Kyle. And we'll put that on the screen right here. Just make sure you tag us in that game to make sure that you enter the contest. Now, Lane Talk is offering a brand new iPhone 15 for the winner of... This isn't an iPhone this. 15, but something like this. <laughs> to the winner, and uh, we're also giving away some signed bowling balls and some memorabilia. So it's a great contest with Lane Talk, and if you're unfamiliar with Lane Talk, please download the app. They're a great company out of Sweden. It does everything. You can manually enter all your games. The bowling ball database, you can tag your bowling balls. So if you bowl an eight game block and you throw five different bowling balls, you can tag different bowling balls per game just to make sure, hey, I threw this ball, this game, this block, and I shot 270 with it, turn around 160, I got out of, you know, it just reminds you of exactly what happened. The app has it all. So guys, download the app, bowl a game, tag us, you're in the contest. You have to be 18 years or older, be in the United States, run the contest through the entire month of October. Contest ends October 31st, and boom, use the app. Dude, we coach all the time. This it's, is it. It's the best app this is it. in the industry. So anyway, let's, let's get, get to the lesson. Let's work. We have a drill for you guys today. Now, I learned this drill by actually watching a video in our coaching membership that Daniel was giving to someone. Okay. And I go, wait a second. I need to work on that. So that's like the uh, what twentieth time that's happened. At least it's like at wait least. a second. We should be doing that. So the two things we're going to work on today is um, when you're playing left, the tendency that personally I'm struggling with, and I see this in a lot of people, is that when we're playing left, we feel like we need to get more power, and sometimes we kind of do. But when we generally get more power, we get more pull in our swing, and some bad things start happening. Now those bad things that start happening is when you're coming down, a lot of times this shoulder can over rotate, which what ends up happening is, watch what happens when my shoulder over rotates here. My forearm is pointing this way, my elbow isn't staying tucked, it's kicking out, and we're just getting this motion. As we come through, we're getting this motion, and what we want is this motion. So what I'm gonna do, the first part of this, is I'm gonna take this little piece of tape. You can just use anything. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna attempt to rip this. We'll be right back. One eternity later. Ugh. Okay, so you take a piece of tape like this, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick it on my forearm, just right in the middle of my forearm. Now what this is gonna do is just create a feel for me. So now I have that tape right there on my forearm. What I'm gonna do is when I go to follow through, I'm gonna show this tape to the pins. So if I show this tape to the pins, my elbow's tucked, 
shoulder can stay back. If my forearm's pointing to the left and I follow through like this, look what happens. The tape is pointing that way. So we're gonna try this out here. And all I'm gonna be doing, and I'm already playing a little further left here, and all I'm gonna think about on this shot is showing this tape to the pins. Boom. Yeah, when, uh, <clears throat> when we see the stats or your scores taper off toward the end of blocks, we've been out there for a while, so we know the people who are getting pins during those games. <laughs> and they're the guys that are playing really far left, generally have a really high rev rate, and their way of hooking the ball is just so effortless and it's just easy, it's almost annoying for the guys who get pins late. So it's almost guaranteed that if you're not getting pins late, you're probably watching these guys or you're trying too hard. You're, you're putting way too much effort into it in order to hook the ball. Remember, in order to properly hook the ball with large angles, the ball has to get, get out there and then it has to come in at a nice angle. If you jam this forward and this gets left, your hooking angle no longer becomes a hooking angle. It is too far down the lane to create the proper entry angle into the pin. Yeah, you can even see your shoulders there. Like, if he's trying to send it that way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look where his shoulders are pointing when this shoulder comes. His shoulders are pointing this way. So how, it makes it so much harder to effortlessly send it this way. Instead, if your shoulder's back this way, now you have like this path that can, you can just go that way with. Yeah, and you can, uh, you know, if you're in the moment and you're a good bowler, you'll still try, like, you'll see that it's off, but you'll try your best to like, but then you lose carry. It just never really seems to work out because it's not done properly. So. Right, so the second part of this is now that we have this tape, I'm just gonna take this kind of to the next level. So again, what we're focused on here, we're trying to hook the ball more from the left and getting our body into a better position. I'm gonna show the tape, but like we were just talking about, I'm gonna try to keep this right shoulder back as I'm following through. When I follow through, I don't want this shoulder to come forward like this. So I'm gonna show the tape and keep this shoulder back that should help me keep my elbow tucked. I should be fairly up the back. And we should have no problem getting some projection. And if you've ever heard someone say you need a quiet shoulder, if you ever heard a coach say you need a quiet, that's what a quiet shoulder is. It stays back. When it jams forward, that is not a quiet shoulder. Yep, so I'm just gonna feel like this shoulder stays back at the point of release. That was really good. Just wow. the, the projection on that. Yeah, that was per Dude, that felt so good. <laughs> Wow. I mean, it's almost impossible to project it to the right steep. You know, sometimes it's gotta be out there quick. I mean, you just can't do it. It's, it's never gonna work. Yeah, and that's exactly what we were looking for there. Whether it's struck or not, we're looking for that natural, nice projection. And it still had plenty of energy coming back. Yeah, you leave less splits, you carry a lot better. And let's, let's keep doing it. Let's see if we can, uh, Let's start, you want to see if we can get a nice 10 back here I was say, this as is a we work through this. Session. This is what we go through in tournament days too. We're not always at our best, so we're micromanaging. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, just the. I noticed on that one the follow through of the arm, not the shoulder, but the, everything below it was so much nicer, easier. It kind of just flowed with the momentum instead of it's looking a little herky-jerky. Yeah, I've noticed, and this is something that I'm gonna continuously work on now because- Me too. <laughs> I, I've noticed some of my shots, all my bad shots, all every, I know it's a bad shot because we get to watch all of our shots because we video ourselves every day. <laughs> and every shot that's bad ends up like this. My elbow's this way, all my good shots, elbow stays in and it, it follows through. But every time I end up like this, just right through the nose. And that has to do with trying to hit it too much. This shoulder comes forward, elbow flies out, forearms pointing this way, and that. We gotta keep everything nice and tucked. And those are two good feel things to. And, and if we don't fix that, if, if that's not the thing we're focused on when we're struggling or whatever, then we could start thinking of other things. And that's when it starts to just compound into, I'm not quite sure I know what I'm doing right now. I'm trying all these things and nothing's quite working when in reality it's just something simple. Just keep your body quiet, keep your shoulder quiet. All right guys, well those are some tips on a little tape on the forearm, show it to the pins and keep that shoulder back. And again, I was able to notice this and kind of point myself in the right direction because I was utilizing the Lane Talk app. Now we, we coach, we got a coaching membership, we're always helping people out and this this app just gives us an unbelievable amount of information that we can use to try to take our game to the next level. Like, I, 
I can go back and look at the pin leaves I'm leaving. Am I missing a lot of three six tens? Am I at ten pins? Am I struggling with my carry percentage? Like, am I hitting the pocket but I'm not carrying? Oh, maybe I need to change my laps. So just now that you have that information, you can tweak your game to improve. And there's no other app like it out there. Absolutely. So guys, remember the contest. You have to enter the pro edition. You get one month free. So download Lane Talk. Become a pro member, you get 30 days free, and then claim a game and tag us, Brad and Kyle. Tag. And then you'll be entered to win an iPhone and a bunch of Brad and Kyle stuff. So, so anyway. That's it. Appreciate you Let's guys. Let's hook the ball more, baby. Yeah, see ya.